On today's episode of Try Try DIY with Ebony, I'm building a DIY picture ledge. Here's a look at the one that I have in my house currently. I have pictures, a picture album, some other knickknacks, and this hottie from Oxen Hills Prom 1993. Hello there and welcome to another episode of Try Try DIY with Ebony. Today I am working on something that is super simple and I know I've said that several times and you're looking at some of these projects like I'm absolutely not going to do that. But this one really really is super simple. As you can see I only have three pieces of wood. Um, I'm, I'm going to cut this wood only because the measurements aren't exact. I mentioned previously that sometimes the sizes and dimensions that are on the wood pieces at the hardware stores aren't accurate. So these are supposed to be eight foot pieces, but this small piece I have here, which is a one by two, is a little longer than eight pieces eight feet. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that one. But if all your pieces are the same size for this project, you don't have to cut anything. This is literally just um, constructing this and putting it together. I did this project in my own house probably about maybe seven or eight years ago. And you'll see from the pictures that it, it is time for it to be updated. I want to try a different style, different color scheme. But first, I want to show you how to make them for your own house if that's something you want to try. I'm going to start out with two one by three pine wood pieces. These were about... um maybe about eight dollars i think when i did this project a couple of years ago i did it for under ten dollars but that goes to show how much the wood has gone up so first thing i'm going to do is make sure that i remove all the stickers um here we go there are several ways that you can do this project as well like even if you don't have the power tools today I am going to use my cordless um, nail gun but even if you don't have the power tools this project is quite simple you can use a nail and a hammer you can use screws I wouldn't suggest just using wood glue so, let's get started I do have to cut off, let me show you this, because this is the um, saw box that I suggested in the basic tools video. I am gonna cut a little piece off of this one by two because it's a little too long, but it does give me a chance to show you how it's used. I already marked it. Guess I didn't mark it dark enough because I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this into the box and I suggested that you get one that has these little nodules that can hold the um, the wood in place and you just find the hole that's closest to it closest to your piece of wood and it'll um, hold the piece in place so I'm gonna move to the edge of the table with this hopefully you can still see it I really want to try out this dollar store um, hacksaw, see what they're talking about. Because I might go buy more of them if, if it works out well. And this is thin wood, so it really shouldn't be a problem with this one. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to flip this around just a bit. It's just so I can get to it better. Push this back down and tighten that. Okay, here we go. Let's see what the dollar store is talking about. Lift it up a little so you can see. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go for real this time. I see my mark here, so I'm really just eyeballing this and it's fine. Let's see, I'm gonna start here. Uh oh, go dollar store. 
So because this is such a small cut and a thin piece of wood, I'm still sawing away. So I predict that this blade will likely wear down before I get through the um, wood, but it wasn't too bad. I think I'm going to just go ahead and cut this piece though with my, um, my miter saw so as not to prolong this project. But at least it's good to know that this, this can be used for some good projects, for some light wood projects. So not too bad. I decided to go ahead and get the, um, the saw that goes along with this box. So that will make things a little easier. See how quickly that's cutting through right now? Of course, I'm keeping my hands out of the way, but I'm just gonna make a quick cut here. There we go. I'm gonna use my uh, sanding block to bump this down a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so the lesson here is when you're in the um, hardware store measuring your pieces, which you should always do, measure them and make sure that they are straight and no knots, no buckles, no cupping. Cupping is when the, um, the pieces are sort of bowed. You wanna make sure all of that stuff is not on the piece of wood that you're purchasing, keeping whatever you're making in mind. So now these are even, and now I'm ready to make the shelves. This is an eight foot shelf. This is, uh, I should say, this is going to be an eight foot shelf, but you realistically could make these whatever size you want based on the decor that you're after. So you could cut these and make these four foot pieces. You could make it a six foot piece. The possibilities are definitely endless in terms of size and color. Um, you saw that the ones I currently have are a, I think that color was like an espresso color. That used to be my color, okay? Everything in my house was that color. But um, since I've changed my decor, I'm thinking about doing some different colors with it now. And the good thing is you can always change. Like you aren't stuck in your design just because you chose something before. And that's the beauty of spray paint, you can switch it up, like make something old, brand new with a nice coat of spray paint or a nice coat of paint. So what I'm doing right now is just assembling, let me move some of this stuff. Okay, I don't need this anymore. I'm assembling the shelf. This is the piece that will go up against the wall. This is the actual ledge piece. And then this one by two is what will be used for the, um, or whatever you put up there so it won't fall off. So essentially, let me assemble this and that's it. You guys cannot tell me this is not a super easy project. All you have to do is put it together now. So I'm gonna be looking for quite a few comments coming back to say, I did this, this was super easy. I can't believe how easy this was. So let's get started with attaching it. So with my one by two, I'm gonna attach these two pieces first. These are my one by threes, and I'm gonna go along the back. I'm gonna start by using some wood glue, my trusty wood glue. Still didn't buy any more, but here we go use my wood glue all along 
this border. This is the border that is going to butt up against the back piece. So this is one of my three ways of making sure this thing is not going to fall down. I don't know the, um, the weight capacity of these shelves, but they're going to be secured into a stud in the wall, or you can use anchors, but it'll, it'll stay up. Mine, I've never had any problems with mine that are currently up. And again, remember, if you are going to stain, you want to make sure that you wipe off any excess glue because glue does not hold the stain. I'll just run my finger back over here and smooth out some of this glue. Okay. You can use some paper towels or a rag to clean up any excess. And I guess I wasn't paying attention because I have way more excess than I noticed at first. But it's fine. Just wipe it off and keep it moving. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish wiping this off. I mean, spreading this out. And I'm using my fingers. I like to use my fingers a lot in my projects. It's kind of weird, I guess. Could be kind of weird. Okay, still wiping away some excess. Good Lord, I must have been looking a different direction when I was putting this on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so I have the amount of glue that I want on there. This thing is not going anywhere. So now what makes it easier to use the nail gun is that once I put this on here, I can go right in and start nailing. So I'm going to line it up along the edge so that the back pieces are aligned. And the glue is helping to stabilize this now. Here we go, here we go, here we go now, okay? Now, when you put that one in the middle, you can pivot it. You can move the end pieces wherever you need them to go while it's still stationary right here in the middle. And that's the same whether you're using a nail, whether you're using screws or whether you're using um, a regular traditional nail and hammer, whether you're using screws, you want to use that middle piece as your stabilizer. There we go. So I'm just going to go to the other end and make sure that's lined up. go so I'm gonna go down the line every few inches adding my nails I really do like this this cordless gun. It makes things so fast, so much faster. Okie dokie. 
I'm gonna go along the edge again with my paper towel because some more glue when I made that bond with the um, nails more of my glue came out so I'm just wiping off that excess doing the same on the inside not too much came up on the inside here we go and now I'm gonna flip this over and do the same thing with my one by two I'm gonna add some glue on the edge of the front piece I told y'all this project is super easy I'm gonna be done this is what maybe 10 minutes you can have a whole new decor in your house in less than 10 minutes I'm gonna try to be more careful with the glue this time okay okay Okay, I'm reloaded. Top and lay this down just like I did the other piece. And I'm going to center this in the middle. I'm going to put a stabilizing nail in the middle. See, you want to line that up just like that. So there's my stabilizing piece and now I'm gonna go back and make sure that my ends are where I want them to be okay I'm back I had some technical difficulties and unfortunately the filming of the completion of the piece somehow became corrupt and I hemmed and hawed. I said, the devil is busy. Why me? Um, but then I started to realize that that's part of my mantra. My plan was to come out here and act like I was nailing, like you would know this is a whole new day, whole new outfit. Um, but then I chose not to do that because I just wanted to emphasize that, you know, everything might not go as planned and in the words of my great-grandmother the only thing that beats a failure is a try so I'm just gonna keep trying and I want you to do the same if you run into any issues building your project so I'm just gonna describe to you how I finished up the project I did nail this top ledge piece on and that actually was the final piece because like I said, this is a super simple and easy project. So I'm now finished. I'm gonna show you a view this way so you can see the ledge and see how it would sit. Um, your pictures or whatever you want to go on here would sit onto the ledge. And this piece is what would be up against the wall. In order to hang it, you can put you can find the studs in the wall, use a stud finder, and um, pre-drill your holes and drill it into directly into the stud finder. I would probably use two screws just to be safe on each stud, but one will definitely help. And it's not too heavy. You don't wanna put too much weight onto here. The ones I've had for seven years in my house, I just keep adding stuff to it and it's, it's never, I've never had an issue. So you just wanna keep that in mind as you're uh, deciding what to put on the ledge. Now for me, I think that I am going to maybe paint this black. You have so many options for finishing this project. You actually could get some wood trim some of the thin wood trim from Home Depot and put it along this edge so it'll add just a little more uh, decorative finish to it. That would be awesome. Hey, I might do that. 
So as I promised you, this was a super, super easy project. And I hope that you are inspired to go and try this yourself. You can put this in many different places. This doesn't just have to be for pictures. You can put this in a library. You can have your magazines, your books. You could put this in your kitchen. If you cut uh, smaller pieces for this, you could have your cookbooks. You can have your iPad here and hang it right on the wall. There's so many options with this. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and that you will actually try it out. And I want to thank you for joining me on another episode of Try Try DIY with Ebony.